Hi there, my name's Henry, I'm from CCTV42. Gonna have a chat about how you get power to your CCTV cameras. We get quite a lot of people asking us uh, how you do this, they seem a bit confused, and so I'm um, gonna go into it. There's a bit more information on our website, just up here, um, and uh, that will explain about different types of cabling. Um, but in essence, um, you run a cable from the DVR recorder to the camera, and that uh, cable can do two jobs. It can take video signal from the camera to the DVR recorder, and it can also take 12 volt power from the power supply, which you locate next to the DVR recorder, up to the camera. And you'll usually use um, either coax cable with a twin core wire, which is attached to the side of it, that's called shotgun cable, or more commonly these days, you'll use uh, networking cable, so Cat5, Cat6 cable. That's got four pairs of wires in it, um, we would always suggest you use one pair of wires for the video signal and you combine three pairs of wires up and you use that for the 12 volt supply. The reason you do that is to try and get as much copper uh, in there as possible and it reduces the chances of voltage drop. There are maximum uh, lengths that you can run and there's uh, information on our website. Um, we also have, uh, just over here, there's a, a little video on uh, using Cat5 cable specifically to do your wiring. Uh, and you may find that useful. But in essence, um, you don't have to necessarily power each camera uh, separately. You can have a power supply by the DVR recorder and the cable which takes your video signal from your camera to your DVR recorder can also uh, supply 12 volt power from the power supply to the camera. My name's Henry, I'm from CCTV42. Hope you found that useful. Many thanks for watching.